What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Rebranium channel. My name is Ryan. Uh, excuse my voice. I've been getting over a cold for last week, so I have a nice uh, raspy voice. But uh, today I'll be unboxing and reviewing the Soso Toys Cajun Car Dealer <coughs> Gambit <coughs> excuse me, uh, figure that I recently purchased from Comic Santorum, Santorium, um, which I think is associated with Toys Wonderland. Um, but yeah, this is one of my first Soso Toys pickups that I've gotten. Um, I saw some pictures of it. Um, obviously, it looks really uh, spot on. Um, I really liked Gambit in the old X-Men cartoons. I uh, thought it was a really awesome character in the show. I'm glad they're bringing that cartoon back on Disney+. Plus. So I figured, what the heck, um, the price was about 150 which is definitely a lot less than a normal six scale figure. Um, so we'll see if part of the reason why it's so cheap is the quality. But let's go ahead and, and open it up and see what we think. Um, with the cover removed, we have a nice piece of art with uh, the Cajun card dealer, which is hilarious again, um, throwing uh, kinetic cards out. And then underneath that, we have the figure and the accessories it comes with. Um, on top of the box, it also came with, um, and I'll show it in the review when we go through each piece, but there's actually like a car, a uh, cardboard with a bunch of different playing cards in it that you have to push out so i'll go over that um, during the review as well so let's go ahead and uh, take it out of the box go over everything that um mr cajun card dealer here comes with and see what we think all right here's the cajun card dealer and all the stuff that it comes with um actually comes with a lot of stuff let's start with the figure uh here he is um the jacket is really cool it's like i mean it's fake leather but it's the quality on it makes it look pretty real. Um, underneath his bodysuit with the purple, the material's cool. You have the part with his chest, the belt here, kind of folded over on this side. But yeah, the, the jacket quality is is really nice. Looks real. Hopefully it holds up over time. And then you guys legs down here, the metal pieces. Looks like metal, but it's plastic, obviously. But yeah, overall, it looks just just like them. I like the quality. The jacket has wires in the end, so you can kind of bend it and flip it up. So you could definitely do some action style poses with the jacket. I like the head sculpt. It's 100% right on. The hair does come off with a magnet, so you get two different hairstyles with that. But yeah, uh, arm goes up about 90 degrees. Not too tall. Elbow joint, it's decent. Then the legs down here. You have the knee, can go back 90 degrees. A little bit of thigh pivot. Legs, you know, a little bit of split action. Not much back and forth though. And then you do have ankle pivot up and down, side to side. And then the head does go left and right. And like I said, the hair does come off like this. And let's put the other head on, hair on the more the emo <laughs> style hair i guess get it on there we go so it's cool that it comes with two i like that it's easy to swap back and forth i mean it's cheaper than having two different head sculpts but it accomplishes the same thing so i don't mind it i do like that it's a magnet though and stays on fairly straight this one actually goes on easier but yeah i like the I, i'll probably keep it with this hair sculpt on but the figure overall i really like it then we have the hand accessories. Uh, you have the ones like the pinchy hands where you would use these cards, which they give you a ton of on the sheet here. They have all the different playing cards you can poke out and uh, pose in his hands. You can pretty much put a full poker hand. They got two jokers, then all the other regular cards, then the back of the cards here. So it's cool that they give you all the different cards. But yeah, there's two sets of hands. Let's start with the regular looking hands. You have the two like pinching pointing style fingers you have two uh, open palm slash holding hands and then you have two fists for punching or looks like he's clenching them and then two open style hands where you could probably use his staff um, in those and then speaking of the staff here you go it's looks like it's metal but it's plastic it's fairly long um, but yeah it's cool they have that and then here's the hands kind of the same poses but with the kinetic effect on it so you have the card holding pointing hands the clenched fists the two kind of open palm holding or grasping hands 
and then the two hands to hold the staff and then two kind of same thing open handshake style the hands um, and then as far as the effects you have this kind of tornado-ish whirlwind type uh, effect that I'm assuming uh, would probably go on something like this like he's holding it you can try to maybe put some cards in there or something but yeah it kind of looks like that like a tornado of energy so that's cool and then you also have this effect which is really I like this one a lot it makes it seem like he's throwing the cards um, and his hand is part of it I kind of wish you could put the card in it but still all right and then you have the base the x-men symbol on it kind of looks like the danger room floor it's kind of just standard but it's nice it, it's a similar quality what you'd expect with other like hot toys or something but yeah uh that's everything that he comes with and then here's the twist in pole for the base as well all right let's go ahead and get him on the turntable with all the accessories and do some poses and see what we think of this figure all right, so here's the Cajun car dealer with the first uh, effect that it comes with, the kind of tornado piece. Um, right off the bat, I'll say the quality of this figure exceeded my expectations. Um, the paint application, the jacket, uh, the effects, all the different hands, the head sculpt, the hair. Uh, it, it's really awesome. Uh, everything everything is the, the same quality you'd expect from Hot Toys, to me at least. Um, now, the issue... <laughs> Definitely, this figure has some of the worst hand pegs I've ever used or seen on a figure. Um, taking the hands off and putting the other hands on is honestly just terrible. Um, you have to basically heat the hands up to get them to go back on the figure. Um, instead of having like a ball joint, it has some kind of peg and then like a, what I can explain is like the top of like a soup can where it's like a cylinder, top of a cylinder, and the hand holes don't match the size, so you have to really struggle, so... Um, and then with his jacket on, trying to hold his arm and put it on, it was really a pain. So definitely horrible hand pegs on this figure. Um, I guess that's probably part of the reason why it maybe the cost, but I feel like the hand peg shouldn't be that big of an issue. Um, so that's really my only gripe with the figure from trying to do these poses. Um, but yeah, this one, he's just spinning, holding the, the one effect, um, but I like it a lot. And then here's uh, Remy slash Cajun card dealer um, with a different head sculpt. And his staff kind of just standing around. Um, the jacket, I like the jacket a lot. I do worry about if it'll last over over time um, with the pleather. But I do like that it has wires in the side so you can kind of bend the coat around him or make it go off the body. Um, the belt that looks cool hanging off there too. Um, I guess, like I mentioned earlier, I like that they gave two hair sculpts instead of two head sculpts. So it's just easier to swap them when you want to. I mean, the facial expression is the same. So I guess if they wanted to do two facial expressions with different hair, but I like that it's, it's easy to swap in and out. Um, like I mentioned, trying to get his hands on was a really a pain. Um, but I, I do like that this pose with the, with the bow staff like this. And then here I have him with the bow staff again, but this time I have the two kinetic hands on with the card uh, in between his two fingers on the right side. Um, I really like this pose. Uh, kind of reminds me of some art I remember seeing uh, back in the day where he's kind of staying there holding the card or like in the cartoons where he's throwing them um but yeah like I'm, i'll mention it again the hands are quite a pain to switch so um, as i'm doing this i'm like how many poses do i actually want to do with this figure uh spending the time to switch the hands out uh, but like i said even once i do it though i look at the figure and i really like how it looks um with his jacket and the, the bow and his hands and the card um, so it, it is a pain, but it, it does, it looks really cool when, once you get it all set up. And then here we have him with the other, um, effect accessory that it comes with, like he's throwing cards. Um, I really like the effect on this, uh, on this piece. Um, it's kind of tricky to pose with just because it's so big and trying to make it seem like he's throwing it where like the physics of like, they should be in front of him, like they're throwing it. It's hard to do with with his arm and the jacket um also the fact like it's hard to keep that actually on the hand pick so um i do like the piece i think you can get it into a cool look um if you if you pose it right um but trying to get it to stay on there was tricky um but like i said overall i really like 
how the figure looks and all the pieces that it comes with are, are, are really good quality. And I think it really adds a lot to whatever pose you do end up putting the figure in. And the final pose, and to wrap this one up, I put them on the, the base that it comes with. And I had the pull. Um, I was going to put the clamp on it, but it started to kind of pinch too much on the center and the jacket, and I didn't want to damage it. So I took it off for this. Um, I don't think I'll display it with the pole. Probably just have him stand on the base or just stand um, on a shelf somewhere. But um, overall thoughts, um, the look of the figure is really great. Um, the accessories, the body, the jacket, the hair, everything is, is spot on with like cartoon and comic accurate, the stuff that I liked. Um, uh, cons for this would definitely be the hands. Um, they are hard to take off and put on. Um, they look good, but like it's just so hard to put on. It's definitely something where I think Soso Toys should change and never use <laughs> the hand peg that they use for this figure again. Um, I think I've seen other people comment about other Soso Toys figures having issues with that. So hopefully this is something they can um, correct in the future. But overall, if you're an X-Men fan, a Gambit fan, um, I can highly recommend this figure. It might be tough to find at the moment. I think they only sold so many of them, um, but uh, definitely worth picking up uh, if you like Gambit, or sorry, the Cajun card dealer. Um, that'll do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, really appreciate uh, any likes and subscribes to my channel. Um, also appreciate all the comments and likes on my latest videos. Um, I'm still waiting for uh, Spider-Man uh, Far From Home to come in. Um, it's stuck in Hong Kong shipping for like a month now. So whenever I do get that figure, that'll be my next one. Um, and then after that, I'll have to see which one I'm going to do. Um, but thank you once again for stopping my channel and checking out. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in my next video.